Hello and welcome to today's video where today I'm going to show you how you can download and install Bully MP. Now first of all what you need for this is you need to have Bully on the PC. It does not work with Android, iOS or the console versions of Bully, only the PC. Secondly it will work with Steam and the retail version which is, you know, disc. If you are playing on the disc version however, you do need to have it updated to version 1.2. Steam does this automatically. Now first of all, to download Bully MP, you need to go to bullymp.com then click downloads here. Then you'll see this. Now of course this version will be different depending on whenever you're watching. So click this and you'll see it'll start to download. Now I've already got this downloaded so I can just quickly sort of minimise this. And this is the archive when it's downloaded. Now what we need to do is we need to copy all of these files into our Bully directory. Now if you don't know where your Bully directory is, on Steam you can just go to Bully, right click, go to properties, go to local files and then browse local files it'll take you directly to it now i've had Bully mp installed before because i've been a play tester but i'm going to overwrite it for this video so press ctrl and a and drag and drop everything into here of course for me it's going to say do you want to overwrite click yes and i presume this will be the same for any updates Bully mp has you know a bit like san andreas multiplayer and now what we need to do is style Bully mp but i just want to point something out because i know somebody's going to say it you're probably wondering why i have two Bully exes here Bully60 and Bully.exe. Now I just want to point out that this EXE here is the original 30fps lock one. And of course since most PC gamers like to play at 60, well of course that's the 60fps patch. Now I want to point out that the 60fps patch is not compatible with Bully MP. Like if I double click Bully MP with a 60fps patch installed, it'll give this error. Your Bully Scholarship Edition executable is packed with UPX. So of course for this, you need to have the original Bully EXE. So of course, we're going to rename this back to Bully 60, and of course rename Bully 30, which is the original EXE, back to Bully. One mistake. And how do you know if you've got the 60 FPS or the 30 FPS? Well, look at the file sizes. For example, Bully.exe, the 30 FPS locked, is about 8 megabytes, while the 60 FPS one is about 2 megabytes, if that. Now of course once you've got the original EXE back, you can just double click, well actually one second I'm going to create some more controller on, now we can just do quickly double click Bully MP. Now this is something I forgot to cover initially, when running Bully MP for the first time it will ask you where your Bully is located, now you need to find your Bully folder for this, now once again if you're in Steam, by default this is Steam Apps Common Bully Scholarship Edition, like for me it's on my D drive, Rockstar Games, Steam Apps Common Bully Scholarship Edition, but for you this might be completely different. Of course, when you've got two folder, double click bully.exe and then it will start up. Now of course it will start up just like Bully usually does. Give it a moment to load up. And now you'll see we're in Bully Multiplayer. Now I'm going to give a quick overview on this. Of course we have Quick Connect which means we can directly connect to a server. Or of course we can use a server browser, which if you've played games like Counter Strike or whatever, then we're probably familiar with. Now settings is where we can actually control our body experience. Even though we're using the 30 FPS patch, Body MP lets us play at 60 as long as you um, specify it here. We can go up to a maximum of 65, so if you're on 144 hertz monitors, then sorry you're out of luck. Now here we can choose to have our FPS displayed in the top corner, once we click save obviously, and of course our nickname. Of course, my nickname is Nathan and S, and that's what I go by. We can also choose to run it in windowed mode if we really want to. Of course, when we click save, you'll see we've got our FPS counter up there and all that. Of course, if you're familiar with San Andreas multiplayer or Counter Strike um, servers, you know, stuff like that, then server browsers are probably not that new to you. But just double click one. So for this one, I'm going to go to the free mode one. And the game will freeze for a minute or so. And you'll see we've loaded up now. Now by default your character will be Jimmy Hopkins and you won't have any weapons. Now of course I'm the only player on this server so if we press tab we can see I'm the only person here. Now the controls for this are quite similar to San Andreas multiplayer if you're familiar with it. But for example press T to start talking. And of course we have console commands as well. Now these might vary by server, you know, if you're familiar with San Andreas multiplayer. So for example, if we type in slash skin, 
we can choose to change shimmy to somebody else. So for example, if we do T slash skin, um, let's say 24. There we go, now I'm playing as Lefty Mancini. Now of course, we've all got Jimmy's default fighting style, so don't expect us to have, um, you know, Johnny Vincent's fighting style or Ernest Jones or whatever. Of course, to change skins, you could just put in random ones as well. So skin, say, 54. And they're playing as Miss Peabody. So yeah, that's just basically how to install and briefly use Bully MP. Of course, different servers will have different commands and different rules. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.